During the current financial year up to September 28, the US dollar has appreciated by 14.5% against a basket of major currencies. This has caused turmoil in currency markets across the world. The movement of the Indian rupee has however been orderly compared to most other countries. The Indian rupee has depreciated by 7.4% against the US dollar during the same period. That is from 1st April of this year to uh, the date which I just mentioned, that is up to 28th September. So while the US dollar has appreciated by 14.5%, the Indian rupee has depreciated in a very orderly manner to by 7.4%. And consequently, it is evident that the Indian rupee has fared much better than several reserve currencies as well as many emerging market and uh, Asian peers. A stable exchange rate is a beacon of financial and overall macroeconomic stability and market confidence. In recent days, there have been divergent views on the exchange rate of the rupee and the adequacy of our forex reserves. Let me set out the overall position once again. First, the rupee is a freely floating currency and its exchange rate is market determined. Second, the Reserve Bank does not have any fixed exchange rate in mind. The Reserve Bank intervenes in the market to curb excess volatility and anchor expectations. The overarching focus is on maintaining macroeconomic stability and market confidence. Our actions have helped in encouraging investor confidence as reflected in the return of capital flows since July. Over the medium term, the primacy of price stability embedded in our flexible inflation targeting framework provides the anchor for exchange rate stability. These are the two points which I mentioned. I would now like to mention the third point. Third, our interventions in the forex market are based on continuous assessment of the prevailing and evolving situation from the point of view of the approach which I just explained. The aspect of adequacy of forex reserves is always kept in mind. The umbrella, as I had said earlier, continues to remain strong. During the pandemic, forward guidance gained prominence in Reserve Bank's communication strategy. This was helpful in anchoring market expectations. In a policy tightening cycle, however, it is arduous to provide consistent forward guidance, particularly in a highly uncertain environment. In fact, forward guidance may even destabilize financial markets. Questions are often asked about the peak and terminal rates in a rate hiking cycle or in a rate tightening cycle. Without venturing into any forward guidance which can be hazardous in the present context, I would like to state that our actions will be carefully calibrated to the incoming data and the evolving scenario without being constrained by conventional or any textbook approach to policy making.